Hey everybody, it's Brett. It's June 18th. Yes, it is. A Tuesday morning. And this is today's Thankful Carnivore Report. Wow, I'm a pretty thankful guy this morning. It's the day before I leave town to go to my 40-year high school class reunion, so I'm really psyched about that. Good morning, Sinwell, you gorgeous woman you. I hope you're feeling great this morning. I saw those lovely yummies you have fixed the last couple of evenings, and yes, I drooled. I truly did. But I'm so excited. I got my reunion coming up. I'm looking forward to seeing people. We, we, our graduating class only had 115 people in it, okay? And we've had a few pass on. But out of that, over 80 people have bought tickets that are going to be in attendance. So I'm really psyched about that. And some of these folks I haven't seen since the night we graduated. So I'm pretty psyched about that. Looking forward to meeting and seeing my parents as a sane person. Never got to experience that before since I was a little tiny feller. <laughs> pretty pumped about that as well. Some other good news to share that has got me ecstatic this morning. You can go to YouTube and do a search for Phil Escott, and you will see him interviewing me on his podcast. We talked for about an hour and 38 minutes. Oh my gosh, we talked a long time. But uh, it's truly something that I, I consider a blessing. It wasn't just a pleasure. It was a real blessing to be a part of that experience. And uh, I encourage everybody to go, to go watch it, especially folks who are having issues with mental illness, depression specifically, maybe bipolar disorder. Uh, you might glean something useful out of it for your own benefit. And uh, you'll learn some things about me that I, I, you didn't know before that I've never talked about because I don't discuss religion or my faith very deeply on, on this. I, I keep that to myself for the most part. I'm a firm believer that a faith is best lived than discussed. Um, so it's just a wonderful, wonderful, happy day. I've already got a two-mile walk in this morning because it's going to be a stormy afternoon. And hey... <laughs> Part of the good side of not having brain fog anymore is knowing you don't go out and walk in the rain. <laughs> but I want you people to be happy as you can. Look for happiness wherever you can find it. It's so important. Some of you are hurting. You're having a hard time. I know looking for happiness is more difficult then. But whenever you're feeling like the pain is just a little too much or the bureaucracy that you're beating your head up against has sent you the ridiculous letter number 31 and you're frustrated and you don't know what to do, take a couple of moments, get you something to write with and think of five things that you have to be thankful for. Just try it. Do it right now. Get out something and write with write down five things that you have to be thankful for. Jeez, if you're breathing, that's one because you still have life within you. You're on this side of the grass. You have a reason to be thankful. It's something to be happy about. Have you had your sustenance today? You woke up on the right side of the green. That's exactly right, Sin. You're exactly right on the money, dear. There's always things that we have in our life we can be thankful for and happy about if we just stop taking them for granted. See, I just I still live in the same old kind of barely adequate house that I lived in when I was sick. But it it suffices. A bigger house isn't going to make me any happier. It's just not. Because that's not where the happiness lies. It's not where the happiness comes from. It comes from within. And when we share our happiness with others, they bring that happiness into themselves and create more. 
And you really could start a joyful circle. You know, we get caught up in this, uh, what goes around comes around, asshole, kind of thinking. We forget the good comes around. The happiness will come back to us. Simuel says, happiness is not a destination, it's a choice. And in many cases, I agree 1,000%. We could choose to be miserable, or we could choose to find the good that is around and available for us to partake of. It's not that complicated, folks. It really isn't. You just have to be honest with yourself. Listen, I want you to have a beautiful day. Be happy. Look for reasons to feel happiness. Look for reasons to share your happiness with others. You have a great day. Eat your meat. Drink your water. And Samuel knows what I'm about to say. I know this. Be happy. Be thankful. <laughs>